Thanks for joining us here at Rose Quartz Mediumship Podcast, where we simply adore anything and everything healing and metaphysically based. I want to talk to you a little bit about an experience that I had with one of my clients recently that I thought was incredibly powerful as a story to share, because there may be a piece there that resonates for you. With every single client who I work with, there is a moment where I get to experience them letting down their walls of protection. Sometimes this happens on our very first session when they walk into my studio or when they log on to Zoom and they simply let down their walls. They're ready to be vulnerable. They're not worried that I'm going to judge them and they feel safe enough to explore themselves with me present. Sometimes that takes multiple sessions. Everyone is different and there's no right or wrong answer there. But I was working with this client who had put up walls of protection from childhood and for very, very good reason as they had experienced some pretty significant trauma in childhood. And so they held up some pretty big and pretty thick walls of protection. And obviously I didn't personalize that. It's not for me to say when someone feels safe enough to start to let their walls down. All that I can do is hold a safe, non-judgmental space for them to start to feel safe enough to let those walls down. And so I'd been working with this client and we'd had a couple of sessions and she was still holding up some pretty significant walls to the point where I would ask her questions. And if you've worked with me, you know that I ask a lot of questions. It's a way for me to help support somebody with self-actualization, which I think is wildly important in the healing process. And so this individual, I would ask her questions and frequently she would give me a very superficial answer. And then she would go away and in her own space and in her own time and her own safety, she would really explore the questions that I had asked her. And in our next session, she would come back ready to discuss them. But I didn't get to watch her process in real time. That was something that she did on her own. And I'm working with this individual because she is wanting to explore the next chapter of her professional career. She's had a couple different professional careers and she feels another one coming and just doesn't know what it is yet. And in everything that we've spoken about, while I can notice that there is some degree of life or spark or energy inside of her, I hadn't gotten to watch the spark that I knew was in there, that I could feel with every ounce of my being. And in this particular session, we started talking about writing and how it is so easy for her to feel things inside of her body when she writes. If she's in the process of writing, she feels the inner sensations and emotions in a way that she doesn't otherwise feel. And pure magic happened as she was explaining this to me. I got to witness her letting her walls down. I don't even believe that she knew that she was doing it. But the medicine of the passion that she was feeling around writing was so intense that it was impossible for her to hold up walls. It was just simply impossible. And so I got to watch this moment where she let all of her walls down in one foul swoop without even really recognizing it. And I got to see this spark this passion, this energy, this aliveness come out of her in the most intense and beautiful way. 
and it was like nothing I'd seen in any of our sessions before. And I allowed her to talk for as long as she wanted to talk about writing. It had been a part of her life since she was a very, very small child. And then I told her what I saw. When she got done speaking, I mirrored back, hey, I watched you come alive. I watched energy, I watched passion come out of you in a way that I've not seen before when you talked about writing. And this individual is having a really hard time connecting to inner sensations and she'd experienced a lot of body-based trauma as a child. And so this isn't uncommon. But she had a really hard time with accessing the inner sensation channel in the somatic world and the emotional channel. And we talked about all the reasons for that. She was very aware. And so it was really natural and easy for me to say, did you notice how you could easily access the inner sensation channel and the emotion channel during writing? and even during talking to me about writing and how much you love it. And all of a sudden I started to feel some little walls creeping back up. She became aware that she'd let them down. And she said, yes. And I said, what would it be like to explore the idea of writing somehow being connected to the next chapter of your professional career. And immediately, she started to tell me all of the reasons that that couldn't happen. And she went back and told me about this memory that she had when she was a young child and was writing and spoke with another writer. And that writer told her that you can't make money writing and that while this individual was a writer and did it professionally, she also had to do other things on the side because writing could never be a lucrative career. And in that moment, that woman's truth became my client's truth. And my client began to carry around this story in her mind and in her nervous system that said that she would never be able to have writing be her profession. She could never monetize it. She could never make money at it. And so she had overcoupled here, where she had immediately created a story that writing could not be the next chapter in her career, couldn't even be part of her professional career because you can't make money if you're a writer. And so I just pointed that out to her and asked if that was even her story. And of course she said, no, it's not my story. It's this other woman's story. It's just become my own. And so I asked her, to just start writing and feel inside of her body and feel her emotions and just notice that if God or the universe had given her writing and given her all of this beautiful passion and love and excitement around writing, to really ask herself if she thought that she could have that kind of passion and that kind of energy and that kind of enjoyment and that kind of love and excitement around writing, but have her not meant to do it? And she kind of laughed knowing that if there was something that she was this passionate about, it was clearly meant to be part of her human experience. And I said, I want you to practice something. I want you to just practice writing and not overcouple, not allow your mind to create a story 
about how difficult it would be to monetize that or all the reasons that that couldn't be her career, but to purely be with the excitement and the passion that she felt when she wrote. I said to her that sometimes I believe that our mind creates these barriers, these blocks, and all we can see is the block or the barrier. But this is the thing. There's limitless possibilities in this human experience. And so if you can open your mind to the fact that there are other stories out there, there are other truths out there, that somewhere there's a truth that she could monetize writing, that she could do what she loved, that life gets to be that good. To just hold the possibility and to be with the passion of what she was feeling. And my truth is that when we're with that passion, it helps us to let go of the block that prevents us from seeing the pathway to doing what we love every day. And I don't think she's alone in that story. I think that we all have it in various different walks of our life where we believe that something that we love dearly, that there's no pathway to it being our reality. And I believe that anything that lights you up as much as writing lit up this client, that it has to be part of what you're meant to do here, part of your purpose here in your human experience. And I believe that if you're just with the passion and the excitement and the love, that through law of attraction, doorways will open. So I hope that you are seeing all the doorways from the things that you love and that you're passionate about into having them be a part of this human experience and the life that you get to live. I hope that you are having a beautiful morning, day, evening, or night, wherever it is that this podcast is finding you.